Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well we've got the Divi theme obviously here and we're using the fantastic uh, Divi Supreme Modules plugin which really puts the Divi theme on steroids. And We had a question from a chap called James. A uh, quick question about Divi theme Supreme menu. Can you collapse the sub menu to a plus Ideally, I want to put a menu in my footer, which is expanded on desktop and collapsed on mobile. Does this do this? If not, how would I achieve this? Well, it's pretty good questions, actually, James. Let's see. Let's check it out. See what we can do. Well, let's, I've got a, I've got a global footer on here. So let's go to our dashboard. And see if we can't figure this out. Now Divi theme uh, recently added the theme builder so you can add global footers and global headers which is great and here's a global footer I've got I'm going to hit the edit button and we simply for those that didn't see what I did there I went down to um, Divi the theme builder right there and there's there it is and it'll bring up your customs don't want to restore on auto save let's just leave it as it is okay here's my very simple custom footer here and let's try it over here I'll get rid of my logo and we'll put it in there so let's hit the little plus icon to add the supreme menu and Divi comes as standard with all these light gray modules plenty enough to build just about any site when you add Divi Supreme you get another 40 of these which kind of puts it on steroids and there's some fantastic modules here and we're looking for a Supreme menu down here now I don't think this is actually going to work but I'll put it in and we'll try I'll just say footer menu yeah because by default this is wonderful for footers but by default it's it's vertical like this not horizontal and I think for what you want you might want a, a horizontal one or a custom one we'll, we'll look at both options I really haven't got a menu that's the default menu we've got there let's go over design and sizing actually we're going to lay out yeah there's no option to actually make it horizontal that's fine but that basically means we're not going to be able to collapse it. So another option for this would be to put in a regular menu because this this will work fine or perfect, but it's not going to collapse on mobile. So for instance, if we just say that, well, let's sh shove it to the middle a little bit. Uh, I want to give it a bit of padding on the left side. And let's save that. Now, if we collapse this to mobile view it's just it's going to be there it's just going to be um, as you can see left aligned still and not collapsed so the short answer to that is no not with that particular one but let's let's have a look at some other options here let's get rid of this one and let's add a new row green button for a row I'll make it a single column what you do is use the regular Divi menu right here um, I haven't got a menu so it should just put in the default there it is right there let's go over to our design let's put it in the middle and it, obviously if it's on the bottom like this you don't want and you've got drop downs you don't want them to go down you want them to go up menu text let's make that white it'll disappear there oh it's active link color right menu text let's make that white it'll disappear let's take that background away okay so we've got our menu on the bottom this one will actually collapse so if we flip it from desktop to mobile now you can see it's a little toggle menu like you normally get. Oops, I accident, accidentally cloned it there. Um, 
So when you click on it, like any other mobile menu, it'll expand and show you the menu. If I just save this, and exit the Visual Builder, save all our changes, and let's visit the site. Let's go down, the, well, I guess I'll do this first. I'm using Google Chrome with the great inspector tools. So let's get this out of the way. And I'll just toggle it to like an iPhone or something. There we are, we're already on it. And let's go down all the way to the bottom. And we'll test out that little menu. There it is. And as I've got my whiting right, you can't see it, but it is there just have to put your background as whatever it is for the thing so that's one option but you haven't got your little plus icon there that you were asking about um, so let's go back in I'll get rid of the inspector tools and the other option would be to manually make this menu with a toggle so let's just get rid of this one right here and we'll get rid of the whole row actually we don't need any of that in there and this is only if you want this vertical menu uh, personally I would have probably used that that Divi default one but if you want to make it vertical and collapsed on on mobile and not collapsed on desktop this would probably be the way to do it let's go down all the way to the bottom you're gonna find a toggle let's just give it a name And in here, you'd want to put your menu items, you know, home, about, services, whatever it is, contact. And then just link each one of these to the appropriate page by putting a link in there. I'm not going to do that. Okay, so you've got that first. And what we're going to have there is a little toggle thing that will toggle it up and down like this now this is getting a bit more towards what you were looking for let's go back in there let's go over to our design and make it a little more interesting dark background so I want to make my icon white and it is a plus you can change that if you want to uh, once it's uh, in there you can make it a custom icon size so you can make it bigger or smaller Here's the actual toggle itself. Toggle background color. Well, I don't want any background color really, or we could make it the same as our one there. So just go in there, just take the opacity all the way down. And similar with the one below. There we go. Text. Well, I'm happy for it to be left aligned. Um, I really want it to be white in color. You can change it on both of these. That's fine. I don't want that border on there. I don't want it to be as wide as it is either. So let's go down. We'll just change, take the border off. There it is, one pixel. I'll just flip that to zero. Now let's make that skinnier and align it to the center of our content here. Bearing in mind, we've got to have at least this much yeah I know my links aren't showing up but this is just an example you just change your link text color there so while we're in design let's go to sizing shrink it down a bit in width obviously this is up to you it's got to be plenty wide enough oops to house everything there we go and we'll put it in the middle of the row there now here's where things get interesting. What we can do, body text. There we go. You can see those a bit better now. Uh, what we can do is go to our content. Now, unfortunately, there's no responsive on this state here. So on desktop, we'd want to have it open. That's if you want your menu showing all the time. That's what I understand from, from you. And then on the 
mobile you'd want to have it closed like that I'm guessing and you see the little plus arrow I think oh plus icon I think that's what you were looking for and like I showed you you can make that bigger or smaller however you want so to achieve one on one and one on the other what we need to do is clone this little fella right here let's just save it go in there there's a little clone icon right there so we've got two one above each other here and what we need to do we'll go into the top one and for the state on the top one content state we'll say this is open and we want the open on desktop so we want it to be appearing like that on desktop so we'll go over to advanced and visibility display disable on phone and tablet so you're not going to see that one on phone or tablet now we want to go to the one below go in there content again now this one we want to have as closed state closed that's fine and um, but we only want to see this one on mobile so let's go down again to visibility disable on tablet and desktop only visible on phone this should achieve your objective hopefully so let's see let's save save the menu exit out make sure everything's changed there saved there I should say now let's refresh this page and there we are as you can see the desktop footer is open you can close it if you want to but by default it's open so they've got their all their menu items right there now if we toggle it to the mobile version go on down you can see it's closed I mean you've got that menu there but you could just have that you could just not give it a title if you didn't want to and just have the little plus and do it like that so it expands so let's just fix that little menu business going on there because on the mobile one which was the bottom one I believe this one right here let's go in there I'm going to take the title away don't need a title let's go to the, the toggle and I'll make the toggle a little bit bigger oh the icon rather make the icon a bit bigger so we're on icon use custom size let's bring it up a little bit in size there we go now let's save our changes and that should hopefully be doing what you want it to do and we'll just refresh this little page right now and there we go we've got our little white plus sign I think that's what you wanted on mobile and then when you click on it it'll drop down and open up your menu so I hope that's answered your question let's get out of here and make sure this is going to work on um, we didn't change anything on desktop there yeah and there's your desktop version so the answer to your question is no the supreme modules won't and uh, but you can do it manually or you can use the regular Divi one to achieve the same objective so I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.